Hey friends, I'm here uh, to jog your memory and help you think about little Christmas gifts for your friends or, or your family that um, won't break the bank and it shows that you are giving your friends something from your heart. Uh, you know, like most of us, if we want to need something, we go out and get it, right? Uh, most of us don't need another thing. So I love giving a gift that uh, the most valuable thing that I have outside of family and friends is my time. You know, we always seem to need more time for something. So I love to give a gift of my time to my friends. So I love gifts from the kitchen. So I'm gonna make and suggest to y'all different kinds of butters. I adore butter. Y'all all know that about me. And I simply adore compound butters. And a compound butter is nothing but uh, your butter and whatever ingredients you want to put in it. Now, I've got blackberries, I've got uh, strawberries, I've got even some uh, black raspberry. Why don't I put on my glasses? Where are my glasses? <laughs> We've got some um, black raspberry preserves. We got strawberry preserves. We got fresh strawberries, fr fresh blackberries. We have honey, we have lemons, we've got onions, we've got garlic, and we've got dill, rosemary, sage, thyme, and basil. So, you just have to decide, do you wanna make a sweet compound butter or a savory compound butter? To me, there is nothing any better than a charcoal grilled steak with a pat of herb butter sliced and put on top of it. And you know what we used to serve when when my brother was here and uh, when he was operating Uncle Bubba's Oyster House? Uh, we used to serve a stuffed flounder and we made a crab butter and uh, we mix crab meat, a little Old Bay. You know, I can't remember exactly to the T what we put in it. But anyway, you wrap it in wax paper. Most compound butters, you roll up into logs in wax paper and refrigerate them or put them in the freezer. So right as that dish went out, we would take a slice off that crab butter log and put on top of that stuffed flounder. I can't tell you what it did to it. It made it even better and people loved it. So decide, do you wanna do a sweet or a savory or a sweet and a savory and give to your friends? So I'm gonna start, let's start with a sweet one and it's a it's a like a vanilla honey butter so i'm just gonna start with one stick of butter and this is all unsalted normally i use salted but uh, all we have right now is unsalted butter so you can use either one and i'm putting like almost a heaping tablespoon of powdered sugar. I'm gonna put a squirt of vanilla flavoring. How much you think, Teresa? A teaspoon. Yeah, I think that's about what I did. And I'm gonna add some honey to it. Maybe, let's see how many tablespoons I'm gonna add. Yeah, that'll fit. I'm gonna add, mm, let's start with two tablespoons. Okay, that's one and it sure is sticky. 
and there's so many honeys out there. Uh, Savannah is home to Savannah Bee Company. And oh my goodness, does he ever have some good honey? I love Tupelo honey. What about y'all? You like what? I like all kinds. All kinds? Well, that Tupelo is so good. All right, now, Teresa, what else were we talking about putting in this? Cinnamon. A little cinnamon, okay. Do I have the cinnamon? Yes. Yeah. And we're going to just do a teeny tiny tad of cinnamon, right? Yes. It really but, tells you to sort of use... Yeah, I'm putting about an eighth of a teaspoon in. You know, you can play around with all of these and decide what you like. Now, I can't remember. Is there lemon juice in it or no, no lemon? No lemon. So, you think, I, you think I about got everything in it? I think you do. Uh, I really like making my compound butters in uh, my food processor. In fact, I've got a small food processor that I use to make almost all I make in it is my tartar sauce. But I like to get my onions and my pickles, you know, really minced up good. And, you know, you're not going to make a huge amount. So, I really like those. Whoa, whoa, back down, sister. <laughs> Wow, this, I've got it on the lowest setting. Let's let it go. Okay, you want to make sure that your butter has been out on the counter for a couple of hours. And has... All right, come on, let's get off. Swing my butter off. could be like on a yeast roll. This could almost like take you to heaven, couldn't it? So let's taste and see what we've got. Mm. Come taste this, Teresa, and see what you think. See if it needs something else or a little bit more of something. So see, this is really something that you play around with. I think it could take a little more honey, don't you? Or a little bit more cinnamon? A little bit more cinnamon. I think so too. I would say powdered sugar. Okay, well we'll do that too. Okay, so a little bit more cinnamon. So that would have put us at like a fourth of a teaspoon yep. of cinnamon. Yeah, it, this wasn't real sweet, even though we had the honey and the powdered sugar in it. We don't have to add everything. Yep, don't add just a little bit. Well, more. and the beauty of this is that if you get it too much of one way, all you have to do is add more butter. Add another stick of butter. It ain't no big deal. Okay. I'm getting honey strung all over my... I don't think it's going to be much more than that. I don't think so either. So see, you can't, you can't do anything wrong with this. Just make it to suit your tongue. Or if you're giving it to a real good friend and you know her tongue, make it to suit her tongue or his tongue. Who's ever tongue you're working with? Fingernail may very well turn black. All right, 
right, let's let, wait now. Mm, I'm scared of you, Mixer. <laughs> That hurts. That's what happens when you do live TV. <laughs> you got to take the bad with the good. Well, I got this better. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So Teresa, Saint Teresa's blessed it. <laughs> she likes it. So, Teresa, would you do me a favor, please? Get the camera from Eddie? Yes. So he can help you decorate? Yes. So he can help. So I won't take y'all's whole afternoon away. So, Paula, one of the reasons yes. that I gave you all these ingredients was just to really show people how much different stuff you can work with. That's right. Because I really did go online because you said you wanted to do compound mm -hmm. butters. Yes. And there's not a lot of, like, full, like, here's a dash of, it's more of dash of this, touch of that. Yes. But it was mixing all the ingredients and, together that you like. Yes. And, you know, one of my favorite things to make and give as a gift, which, like, is giving somebody a little piece of gold is your homemade vanillas. Mm -hmm. But in order for it to be at its peak, it needs to sit for like six to eight weeks. So you could make it, we're getting very close to the holidays, but you could make it and put a little note on it saying, Merry Christmas, do not open me until February the 15th. So it's not too late. And we show them that in one of our YouTube videos. Right. We so did that Eddie, earlier in the year. I'd like for you to... Can we eat butter? Yes. <laughs> I would like for you to taste this butter. Just here. Right there on that edge. Right there. Right there. You reckon you could taste that? Hmm? You could taste the honey. Yeah, it's honey. good, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yes. This would be so stinking good with a yeast roll or cornbread. Yeah, cornbread if you like yes. sweet cornbread. I yes. like sweet. I know you don't. I do. Well, I like all kind of cornbread, but. Just even your morning toast. Oh, gosh, yes, on a bagel. Um, you know what Michael and I love? Oatmeal. Well, we like oatmeal, too, but <laughs> we love We love, um, what are the things we love? <laughs> bagels. No, we love, or I love bagels. Michael's not crazy about a bagel. But, uh. English muffins? English muffins. Thank you, Teresa. Well, we were almost at the end of the list. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it didn't take much to guess that. But Michael and I just love English muffins. Now, I'm trying to get all the air out of this, Eddie. So it's, if you want to be working on that. And see, one stick of butter, one stick of butter will fill up all these. What is this, a four ounce jar? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you're going to need, um, you're going to need a butter knife, Eddie. I think that only oh, does yeah. two jars. Here's something. I think mm -hmm. a stick does two, two jars. Well, we're not going to be able to get two jars out of this. But here's something that you can go down the side of it with okay. to get all the air out. And while you're doing that, I'm going to... So that's one. That's one sweet butter. Uh, like I said, I have made... For years, I've made strawberry butter, and it is so delicious. All right, so let's make, look how that stick of butter just stood right up there for me. So now we've made a sweet butter. Uh, so now I'm gonna make a savory butter. Now I've got some onions right here that I chopped up good. I've got my stick of unsalted butter. So the first thing I'm gonna do is salt my butter. Give it a little salt. I'm gonna 
put in a little onions. I'm going to put in a little garlic. Uh, I'm going to put in a little lemon juice. You know, these, these butters, uh, they're really just whatever you want. Uh, I think I'm gonna put some basil in this one, a tablespoon or two. And like I said, if I had my little bitty processor here, and you can just lay this on top of each other and do like a chiffonade, which is just roll it up like a cigar and slice it real thin and you'll wind up with strips. And then I'm gonna go back again and chop, 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 chop. And and the longer you give, you know, this to marry together, like overnight. Uh, and I, I just love thyme. And I'm just going to strip it going backwards on the thyme leaf. And drop those little leaves into our butter. Uh-oh. I dropped a hole. See, it's really easy. A little tedious, but it's easy. All right, let's find one that's... All right, let's see what we got. Okay. And that's probably about enough time and I don't think I'm going to use sage, but I do think I'm going to put some rosemary. And just depending on how strong you want this is how much of these different herbs. Okay, and rosemary is a pretty strong herb, so that should be enough. It's not thundering, is it? No, I think it's quite. Do we have some chunky black pepper or is it all just really? I think all we have is what's in there. Okay. I'm gonna put a little black pepper in to go along with the salt that we put in it. Okay, and we're just gonna whip, whip, whip. It starts out so fast. So we'll be tasting this and seeing where we stand with our different herbs. Teresa's got it. I can use a spoon. And this looks awfully pretty. And this is the butter that I would like for you to put on my steak, Michael, as it comes off the grill. So let's see if I got it right. That is so good. That is so good. Would you change now with Eddie? Certainly. I'm wondering 
I'm wondering if I need to put a little bit more salt in it. So, Eddie, if you would taste that and tell me what you think. Now, as the flavors marry together, this is gonna get more flavorful. I can smell it, just blending it up. I know, mm, and I, does it need more salt? No, the salt was the first thing I tasted. Okay, good, mm -hmm. it was about the last thing I tasted. <laughs> All right, so Teresa finished filling this for us and you can see it's adhered all the way around to the jar. So there's several different ways you could do this. You could make a little square cloth. All right, come on. Come on. This is kind of slickery with your butter fingers. Yes, I do have butter fingers. All right, so there's several different ways that you could do this. You could cut uh, with pink and shears, you know, the, the scissors that makes a little things on it. You could put between your lid and your screw top. You could put a little square cloth on it, but we are not. We're gonna uh, put our little sticky stickers on the top, right, Eddie? Mm -hmm. I think that's the way we ought to do it. And then we're gonna choose a ribbon to tie it up around it. And, you know, to walk in and give this to somebody, I just, I personally, I just love it. Yeah. Because I think, that person loves me. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you go. I'll be filling this. Okay. If you will, uh, be showing them how we're gonna ribbon that up. And I'm gonna try to be very precise with this and work it into the bottom. If really you're looking good. for a round one, there I'm, is I'm a round not, one. I'm just, I'm just looking no, at No, I looked for round looking at my gift options. things for. Yes, we always like to check out our options. <laughs> uh, so you wanna take this and uh, layer that butter in, you know, and mash it down slowly, getting all the air pockets out of it, cause you don't want them to open their jar of butter and then see big old holes where there's no butter. I can't believe this is right on the first try. Because as y'all know, I didn't, I didn't measure really anything too much. It was kind of a guessing game, but oh, how wonderful. How wonderful this is gonna be. And one stick of butter fills up these little four ounce jars just perfect. So Eddie, tell me what you're doing over here. Well, you know, I'm I'm thinking she wants to stack them. Oh no, no. Uh, no. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Okay. No, I was just saying we could. What I would do is I would run this ribbon around the edge, okay. around this away. You may need some tape to tape it on. Okay. But I would do it that way so that it keeping this visible. Clear. You okay. know, yeah. So they can see their name. Yeah, so they can see their name. And Paula's when yes. she gives it to oh. them. <laughs> or Eddie's or Teresa's. Well, I don't think we have any tape here, so let me see. Oh, to be in a house with everything in it. <laughs> no That's way. my Christmas wish. Oh my goodness, mine too, Teresa. You know, I'll think, I know I got it, I know I got it. Now, is that in the storage bin, or is that at the Dogwood house, or is that in Bobby's house, mm -hmm. or was it in my Your dream. house that I left? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just don't know. So, I hope that uh, this got y'all to thinking 
about ways, you know, because money is money money is totally different now than it was nine months ago. I mean, it's not even. And for those of you that aren't very, very creative, such as myself, I did get them some of the crinkly ribbon that all you have to do is tie it on, do, uh, the, yeah. do this end with a, um, what do you do with scissors? Scissors. And, and off twirling. you go. Well, actually, I like ribbon that has the wire yes. on it because you can zap up a beautiful bow in two seconds when it's got the wires. Says the creative people. Uh-oh. Look, Eddie, you did a nice job. You did end up having yes. to use the... Can you turn that upside so they can see? You know what? Doing it that way, we probably should have put it on the bottom. Uh, the uh, the name label. Yeah. yeah. Or on the front. If we yeah, the yeah, if we can get the right size one. All right, let's see. Be creative. Yes. <laughs> but to me, that's beautiful. That ribbon with that holly. All right, now with my hands helping you, let's uh, see what we can do as a team. You want to? I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you hold this. It, it and, um, the, the uh, jar is tapered, so it slides right yeah, out. Right, right. So that's why we need our tape. Do you wanna add some of this ribbon to that, or what do you wanna do? This, I think this is all right. If we can do it on the screw top, would that would you feel better about that? Let's see if I Wait, I can't, I can't see. Okay, okay, I can't, you can't, but we can. Note to Ain't self that right, ribbon with wire. Yeah. I can't, you can't, but we can. And I love that uh, when I opened the restaurant, that was uh, one of the first things I told the people that applied and came to work with us. Together we can do anything. So Eddie put a little sprig of thyme in this one, y'all. And so you know at a glance that that's an herb, that's a savory. And uh, if we had a little miniature candy cane, you know, those that are about that big, mm -hmm. we could have tied it up in that bow and they'd known it was sweet. But I hope that Eddie and I have given you some ideas that uh, you're gonna love giving and your friends and family are gonna love getting. And to me, this is so relevant well, this is really in our different. world right this minute. Yeah, I and mean, this is a really different gift idea, I think. Absolutely. Give them that and that and some homemade vanilla and tell them you're waiting on your damn cake. <laughs> now get busy. <laughs> love and best dishes, y'all. Merry Christmas. We love you. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.